Hi there, my name is Sajib and welcome back to another Stacklands video. In this video, we will discuss the information that the Stacklands team has just released. They also showed a lot of pictures here at the Steam page, which we didn't see before. But first, let's go over the text. The Stacklands 2000 content is accessible after having enough food surplus on the mainland. The industrial revolution has come and your small dwelling has turned into a large present day city. In this modern world, you will manage your city's well-being, connect infrastructure, use factories to produce advanced materials and more. Manage your well-being. Make your cities thrive by managing its well-being. Build landmarks such as cinemas, statues and zoos to keep the population happy. Be sure to take care of things like pollution and leaking sewers. Run out of well-being and your city will fall. This really reminds me of civilization immediately. Tres minus one, city park plus two and a worker minus one because it doesn't have housing. Oh. So things will give you unhappiness and things will give you happiness. So that's a new mechanic. I think it works way differently than the other happiness that we encountered before in this game. Produce energy and connect infrastructure. So you can immediately see that there are all kinds of of connections you see these the green ones the black ones the normal ones and the blue ones cool of course the normal ones are not connections but that's just our board buildings in the modern age require energy to function keep them powered using treadmills wind turbines and power plants but be careful some of them may create pollution as well switch between different fields to manage the infrastructure in the city connect sewers to get rid of waste and use roads to automatically transport carts oh automatically transport carts we will be able to do so much more automation i think based on the gift they released a little while ago i was already thinking that but just this basically confirms it, right? We will also have weather events and natural disasters like civilization. Amazing. Every few moons you get a special pack that contains weather cards. Use sunshine to produce energy of solar panels or use rain to get more water. The pack can also contain some natural disasters or special events like UFO crashes, earthquakes and festivals. That's insane. Look at this car by the way. So a wildfire, what does it do? Just... They are not going to show us. Okay. Will things return to normal? Collect science to unlock new technologies that will shake up your complex society. Will your villagers ever get to live their simple pre-industrial lives again? Well, do we actually want that? I mean, I think we just want to get rid of all of the pollution and be happy, right? I just think we want to be happy. So we get more than 180 cards, more than 50 more quests, 8 new card packs, 3 to 5 hours of playtime. Actually, with this amount of automation, I don't think that's entirely true if you want to do more than just finishing the game. I think 3 to 5 hours is also the same for the main game, but I'm not sure. Like, if you look at the main game, I think it will also say 3 to 5 hours something like that recruit lots of workers whatever that means need to organize your board with new cards interesting i like organization and build an unknown machine build an unknown machine very interesting will we go to space will we explode i don't know i made myself a little bit smaller so you can see more of the board as you can see we have new ideas factory parts a shack farmland cement status housing space the fastness of space you have one housing space left every worker uses one housing space here we have workers with water pump it looks like we have grain you have money here you have lumber here gravel here and you have a shack with money on it and it's doing something with the one above it is it like making more money also this card is worth 30 coins what what and this card is worth 10 coins oh wow all the cards are worth a lot of coins actually it's probably because these are 100 dollar bills or something i think everything is basically times 10 then compared to the normal game you can also see here that something is default you have two out of three housing four out of four foods 50 dollars nine out of 25 cards probably 15 happiness here you can export so i think that's just basically selling and here we can buy precious resources for 40 dollars and if you look at the board there's a little card here there are little tetris boards more cars and a windmill and a house and a lot more cards here all right let's go to the next one oh so here is energy oh this basically tells us i think what board we're looking at this is the default uh, look at the board of course and this is this is the energy look at the board and you can see here that we have 31 out of 40 housing like we have 40 housing and we're using 31 we don't have any food with a lot of money with way too many cards we can see here a hamster wheel okay with an apartment so the hamster wheel is charging the apartment that's kind of insane and i think here this little icon there is probably like a villager running in this thing to power this apartment and there's also a septic tank whatever that means i just looked it up and it's basically to like clean up your poop and stuff it's like for the sewer for the sewage there's a factory here someone is working in there as well water wheel here no one is working in there of course the water is just doing its own thing and we have a wind turbine or turbine i don't know how it's called in english actually also with no people there and here is a water pump with a person there it looks like the water wheel and the wind turbine are like touching the apartment the city hall and the factory that's really interesting hmm okay i think i might have figured it out you can see one node here so if you have one node here you can connect it and then this is powered but the water wheel is apparently really strong because you can have three 
connections. With the water view, you can power three different buildings. If the buildings only, of course, ask one node. That's super cool. And look at the art. Really nice. There's a little face in there as well. If you can zoom in, I think there are faces in all of the arts, right? That's really cool. More cars, if you look at the board. I don't think we see anything different this time. Oh, here. Status. Sewer needed. Very brave to leave it disconnected. Has a chance of creating poop when not connected to the sewers. Oh, like this apartment here. I see. And there's a five here, so it probably gives you five housing. And this means that maybe they have enough drinks or maybe they're not connected to the sewers and there's also a timer going on and i don't know what that indicates actually like every time it goes full it will give power but that's kind of weird because i was thinking this is giving power directly immediately we'll see it later moon 59 by the way wow all right the next picture city well-being miserable so you actually have a well-being meter you can also see the name of the second pack modern solutions for 50 coins all right city well-being actually there's a description here you have lost six happiness this moon hover over the well-being boxes to see why uh oh well i cannot zoom in myself but i can zoom in for you when i'm editing so i'm just going to try to read it here there's of course our hamster wheel here there's a tree plantation here water pump farmland Another farmland, another water wheel. Here is a lumber container, very nice. And a credit card, okay. You have mostly here, trash and a worker. So the worker is probably removing the trash. You have a city park here. You have a lot of shacks here, which give you minus happiness. It's probably because people don't like looking at shacks or something like that. And there's cement here, metal scraps and gravel. I don't think there's anything else that's new on the board here. It looks like the farmland has a timer above it, which kind of makes sense because I think it will give you food. It will just give you straight up musty. That's kind of insane. But yeah, the city park gives you happiness, the shacks give you minus happiness, and the trust give you also minus happiness. Interesting, let's go to the next one. And it also looks like having 8 happiness is like the average of your city well-being, something like that. Alright, this is the fourth picture, and this is the transport picture. Oh my goodness, you can see these little roads, look at these, that's so cute. So the tree plantation has a road to the lumber container, makes sense. The gravel pit has a road to the gravel container, also makes sense. The farmland has uh, connections to the factories where there's grains on there and it will make bread 2000 warehouse. Is a bread called bread 2000 or is the warehouse called 2000 warehouse? That's the real question here and it's like worth 4 food points. Cool. Actually this looks really nice. This being automated is awesome. And there's a wind turbine here. Can we see more information here? I don't think so. No. There are more quests here. Start your city. Progress your city, 3 out of 14, miscellaneous I think, 2 out of 5, workforce, keep it tidy, power up, city well-being. And it seems like to unlock new packs, it's like the same kind of system, you need to unlock more quests, or complete more quests of course. And we have a description for the gravel container, a container containing 7 gravel, because there's 7 in there, I see. Maybe this means that there are just 4 breads in there, and not that every bread is worth 4 food points. And then the last picture, this is the default look, and you can actually see the little roads here, like the electricity here and the road here. We have poop, we have shacks, there's a little symbol here, which I don't know what that means. Here is saying, we have a city park, an art gallery, a city all here a gravel container a lumber container and these things that we just discussed these things that we saw before and all the farmlands are all going to the factory with grains and water because there's water coming from here i don't know if we need water for this but it's kind of good and here's the bread 2000 which is worth like six food points i think i think one food is just worth one food point maybe because this one is connected to the apartment and here you can see like a little village oh that's so cute and here we have another status homeless on the streets oh no this worker is homeless give it a home before the end of the moon in order to not lose well being so you need to give people homes. And here you can see a little bit more quests. Connect an energy cable, build a water wheel, connect 5 low voltage connectors, connect 10 low voltage connectors, and of course question marks. So alright, that's the new update that's coming. There's still no release date, but it's planned for 2024. I will be definitely playing this. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in another one. Bye!